All right, time for another very interesting and always engaging TikTok reaction. And today, to switch things up, we'll be re reacting to uh, TikToks of male feminists. You know, when uh, my producer McKenna suggested that we do male feminist TikToks, I said, I'm pretty sure we've done this before. And she said, we haven't. Mm -hmm. Then I said, no, we've done it like, actually 50 times. I think we've done it probably 50 to 100 times. We've probably done it. But I was told we, we've never, we've actually never done it before in history. So we're going to uh, react. And I'll tell you, here's the thing, just a little bit of, just to tell you how I'm feeling, and I don't know, they're gonna kind of cutting all this out that I'm saying right now anyway, but doing the, doing the reaction videos is demoralizing. And I'll tell you why it's demoralizing, not just because it's cheap content, but really because we watch a TikTok, I'll try to say something about it, try to find something to say about it. But there are a lot of YouTube channels where they do these reaction videos. It's all the rage I've spent for a long time, and they get millions and millions of views. And they don't say anything. It's like the most popular reaction videos are the ones where the, someone watches something and then they go, wow. And that's it. And, that, and, then, and then they get 50 million views just based on that alone. Awkward. So it's like if you try to actually say something interesting, so to, to put some kind, so there's like some kind of substance to the content, uh, you get penalized. Tell me an opinion that you have about something. That's how I feel about reaction videos. So let's get into this reaction video. This first one is uh, a male feminist talking about whether or not men should be thanked or not. Let's watch. So tell me when you realized that the bar is way too low. And it was less of a single event and more of a gradual realizing of just how f my gender is. I don't know if I've ever been thanked for stopping when someone says no during sex, but I've definitely been thanked for not guilt tripping someone about it. Being told that someone trusted me to get their female friend home when she was too drunk. The frankly, upsetting amount of times that I've been thanked just for wearing a f Condom. The final, ones. the final one is when I've been told that I'm not really a guy because I'm just too f <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Let's watch the next one. Today we are fighting sexism by giving away some free tampons. Would you like some free tampons to fight sexism? Would you two like some free tampons to fight sexism? Would you like some free tampons to fight sexism? Uh, okay. Women can physically only produce one baby a year, whereas a man can get an indefinite amount of women pregnant in a year. So why is it all the pressure on birth control is on women, when the issue obviously lies with men? Jeez. Men protect women. From what? From what? Tigers, lions, wild animals, dinosaurs, from what? You all have this stupid f conception that men protect women. Men whose job is to protect could not protect children a couple days ago. Regardless, let's get back to the question, from what? Other men? So you agree, men are dangerous. Like, at least some of them are dangerous, right? Because I can already f hear some idiots screeching, not all men. But how are we supposed to know exactly which men? How do you assess without putting yourself in danger which men are dangerous? Because for all we know, there are so many men out there who are playing nice to get what they want, but when they can't, they're abusive pieces of So we are going to play around the idea that men protect women because you have some ego trip or some But we are going to dismiss the fact that men are the ones who are harming women. How about instead of preaching men protect women, we teach f men not to harm women and children? But no, that doesn't work, right? Because you want women and children to be f vulnerable so that you can step in and lure them into your f safety. Instead of dismantling the f social norms and patriarchal constructs that are causing harm to these people, you want to tell women that men are not dangerous while you know full well men are f dangerous. Your insults are such f pieces of f I don't know about that. I'm not sure about that one. That guy's a little crazy. You just choose one of those. Try out the other ones. You know, Vladimir Putin called the U.S. dollar's drop in dominance objective and irreversible as Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa formally agreed to use local currencies and trade instead of the U.S. dollar. As demand for the dollar weakens, the buying power of the dollar weakens. This is why Birch Gold is busier than ever. Investors and savers are looking to harness the power of physical gold held in a tax-sheltered IRA 
and you can too. You can protect your IRA or 401k by diversifying with gold from Birch Gold as the US dollar continues to receive pressure from foreign countries, digital currency, and central banks. Arm yourself with information on how to protect your savings. Learn if gold is right for you too. Text Walsh to 989898 and they'll send you a free info kit on gold with an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, thousands of happy customers, and countless five-star reviews. I trust Birch Gold to help you diversify into gold. If a central bank digital currency becomes a reality, it'll be nice to have some gold to depend on. Again, text Walsh to 989898. If a girl wants a guy who's older, it's a preference. If a guy wants a girl who's younger, it's creepy. I got a question for you, Jimmy. Why do you think some women prefer older men? Real question. Usually a woman will say that she prefers an older man because she wants someone who is mature, emotionally intelligent, confident, financially secure, stable, etc. Now let me ask you, why do you think some men say that they prefer younger women? Men who prefer younger women can't talk to women their own age, want someone who they think is more pure, naive, easier to manipulate, and usually has some weird sexual attraction to youth. The reason why there isn't a double standard is because these aren't the same thing. If a guy were to say that he prefers older women for their emotional intelligence and maturity, nobody would bat an eye. Now, I think all age preferences are stupid. You should treat people as individuals and talk to people in the same stage as life as you. The reason why one is weird and the other isn't is because they aren't the same thing. And that is true for literally every fake double standard you pointed out. Okay, I can't do this one. I, I, I look, ugh. The, the, I'll, I'm going to say one. I'll say one thing. I'll say one more complete thing about one of these videos. And I'm going to choose the one about men protecting. This is what the male feminists don't understand. Okay. You have uh, men have strength. Okay. They have like masculine energy. They have a propensity towards physical aggression much more than women do especially the case for younger men. You know, the younger man is the more he's going to have that kind of propensity. And so you have a choice as a society, okay, do you want to call men, do you want to acknowledge these differences in men and women? And do you want to acknowledge that men are different than women? And you can acknowledge the fact that men, you know, are sort of wired this way and women are wired this way. And then, and then, and then you could call men to, to take all of that masculine energy and, and use it uh, in service to something, to something good, in service to, to protecting the people around them, to protecting women and children. Like you can call men to that, calling them to, some, to something higher, something greater, or you can do what the male feminists do and, uh, and you can determine that somehow calling men to something greater is offensive or, or sexist. And so instead, what we should do is we should pretend that these differences don't exist, that men don't have that uh, aggression, they don't have that energy, they don't have that strength. Or you can acknowledge that they have it and lecture them for, for, for being wired that way. And what does that accomplish exactly? What does that, what does that exactly accomplish? That was my one speech. We'll do one more. Clip seven. Uh, Doc, I broke my arm, you gotta help me. Oh my God, get this man to surgery. Hi, um, I have broken my arm. Oh my god. Can't help but feel it wouldn't have broken if you'd lost weight. What? So that's been our reaction video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, champs.